this is a DD13 engine and the reason why it's here is because it was making this noise Uh, this loud noise and this engine was making uh, was coming from somewhere internal in the engine and um, the person that owns this truck told me that they replaced the, the cylinder head thinking that that was a problem but after they did the, uh, the cylinder head replacement still the same problem so it didn't actually fix the problem um, so they brought it here to do a double inspection and after doing different tests because uh, it's not just to remove to remove the components we have to actually do some testing here and there and sometimes ddl softwares um, for these dd15 engines or dd13s uh, works pretty nicely to determine where the problem is so with the compression test and balancing test and all of those tests were fine so the engine was running fine with no problems actually the engine had no problems having no power so the engine was fine but the only problem was making that loud noise the noise was pretty loud and the owner of the truck was afraid to drive in the truck all over the place um, and uh, Gerardo? yeah Hay que quitarle la succión y hay que quitarle la, hay que quitarle la, la, ¿cómo se llama? La, los, la, los o-ring y todo. La bomba se quita y nos la ves ahí. Ah. Yes. As I was saying, um, eh, so all the testing with using the DDL software was fine, so it didn't uh, have any problems, and uh, well. The only is, uh, the next step to do after knowing that everything is fine is actually removing components, removing um, the top area of the engine. In this case, what we did is uh, remove or inspect freeze that we inspecting. The first thing we did is inspecting the timing. The timing is very important to inspect because the timing can cause many issues. Um, even though then we know that we don't have any faults referring to timing, but it's actually nice to spend the timing all the time. It doesn't matter the situation, uh, why the engine is coming to the shop. So we checked the timing and the timing was right on place. It didn't have no problems. Uh, in the, the timing was matching top and bottom. So that means that everything was fine. But, uh, the timing on the gears means one thing and the timing on the actual camshaft lob is a different thing. So in this case, the problem on this engine was then the camshaft was damaged. This is the camshaft housing that was removed and the rocker arm and the camshaft are all together. Um, the problem is then the timing here matches with the timing on the barong with the with the crankshaft so we don't have no problems with the timing gears the problem is on the lobs as i said before the crankshaft lob is this one right here so what happened is over the time dd 13 dd 15 dd 16 they tend to move left or right depending on the uh, situation and if the timing the alignment of this lob moves the timing of the actual cylinder bolts are going to vary even though in the timing of the gear is fine still the time that the engine is out of timing because of the camshaft being out of timing completely um, and that's a very common problem of the 15 engines and uh, well you could hear the sound that this engine was making but this sounds very it varies on sound varies on the problem sometimes the engine doesn't start sometimes the engine give you uh, situations where you have fault codes referring to a low compression in one cylinder uh, it, sometimes the engine doesn't run perfectly makes loud, louder noises so it varies the, the fault and you can get for a damaged camshaft can vary so this is just one of the faults but in many cases this could be the problem that doesn't mean that just because you have a loud noise coming from the engine 
this is the solution you have to do inspection and the only way to do inspection is by physically seeing so in this case the reason why we did this as i said before is the free steam you have to check when the engine is making weird noises check the timing and then after checking the gear timing you have to check the actual crankshaft love timing they have to face each other if they're not facing each other that means that there is a problem and uh you can you can remove the housing in this case we uh, decided to remove the whole housing with the crankshaft complete uh, uh with a used one uh, but if you don't want to get a used one you can buy a new crankshaft set the in the intake and the, uh, and the exhaust um and replace just the crankshaft and you still can reuse the whole housing um basically it's just the crankshaft the ones that are damaged so we you don't have to replace the whole housing but in this case it was cheaper to get the whole housing so why not and we had it here so that was a um, better idea to do it because it's going to be a faster repair we can compare the sound of the engine we're going to start the engine so you can compare it to how it sounded previously You can really tell the difference how it sounded before. Showing you this this uh, problem uh, because it's something that probably you gonna experience in some uh, in some point of life owning a DD15 or DD13. Since they use pretty similar technology, they can suffer the same type of problems. Don't refer to this video to repair your problem if you have if you have any sounds coming from your engine because these problems can vary so the best way to repair it is by checking the components as i did and um, if for any reason you get the, the situation then it matches the content with the problem then you have of course you can do the repair but if you go step by step following this video and then everything is fine that means then your problem could be located somewhere else so you have to go in a deeper investigation and that could be a little pricey but uh this is pretty much all i wanted to show you about this dd13 engine and as i say dd13 dd15s and um, d16s they use pretty similar technology so the solution to a problem like this is going to be the same for all these engines uh, the tools on how to repair it and the, and the price of the components can vary since D13 pricing and D15 pricing is completely different. And um, the difficulty on how to repair this engine is going to vary too. In this case, we have a long nose cascadia, which is fine, but if you have a D13 with a short nose, it's going to be a little harder to actually do those repairs. And um, I hope then uh, this video is informative enough for you, but if it's not, just use the comment section below. And there you can leave any type of uh, comment or, or questions or recommendations or if you want to add extra information about these uh, engines you're more than welcome if you want to see me directly go to instagram look for me francisco maya youtube they can you, you there you can see me doing different things and thank you for watching